you are awesome and you're back thank you guys so much i'm dan this is mandy and you are watching buzz chomp Woo! yeah you go woo woo yeah woo! enjoy prison break season five prison break has now devolved into a game of liar liar we have a couple ideas about who or what Poseidon actually is. Michael Schofield finally opened up to Arthur Lincoln and explained to him, yes, he made a deal with Poseidon to save his family. Yes, he worked for him. Yes, he was breaking people out of prison. If Poseidon's one man, who is he and how is he pulling the strings? I postulated that it was either Jacob, our unnamed Asian man, or the person that Michael's in prison with. All of these kind of indicate that Michael may not have actually ever met Poseidon, yet he's working for him. But liar, liar, because while Jacob spun a nice web of tales to Sarah about why he was meeting with those two agents, those agents did not go right into jail. They were in the lineup. Like, they would never have just stood in a police lineup. They would have shot up the room. They wouldn't have let themselves, like, they were so gung-ho, kill, 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 kill first type of people, they're not gonna just stand in a police lineup in a police station. That was a complete setup. So, Jacob claimed to have gone to the IT guy to track the phone, and then he said something about putting a GPS tracker in to track them, but before he had said that the phone told him his location, then he made up a meet. So what the hell would the GPS tracker have been that he happened to have a GPS tracker? This college professor, which he said he claims he got from the police, which means he went to the police first. Oh my God, his story is full of BS bullshit. So Jacob's lying. I kind of think it'd be really cool if Jacob himself is Poseidon. I gotta believe Michael never met him because if he was following Sarah the whole time like he claims to have, he would have seen them get married and he wouldn't have known who she was marrying. Or that was the turning point and when they did get married, was when he went rogue and tried to break free of Poseidon because Poseidon was marrying his woman and then he just crossed the line and that could have been the turning point which Michael just didn't reveal to Lincoln yet. But liar, liar. Jacob's a full-headed, blown, BS liar. If he's not Poseidon, then he's a crony just like everyone else paid to watch Sarah and baby Michael. But also who's lying? I don't trust Michael's so-called whip in prison in Yemen. That guy who's, quote, been with him from the, quote, beginning with Poseidon is a little bit fishy to me. Now, Michael needed him. He needed the Asian dude to break out of that Yemen prison, yes. So that was, quote, unquote, part of his plan from the get-go. Something doesn't quite add up. This guy's, like, questioning the plan, then all gung-ho with the plan. Oh, it's not going to work. You need to give me more. Okay, now I'm fine. He keeps pushing Michael there's, there's, there's some underhanded reason there. I don't quite believe him. Liar, liar. Also, I think Michael Schofield's holding out on Lincoln. There's something else that Michael's not sharing quite yet. Okay, so he was with Poseidon. Okay, so now he's probably not with Poseidon anymore. But why did he not want to go with Lincoln's plan so badly? Why did he want on the train system? Why did he want to head north out of the city? What is he afraid of? Who else is out there? And like, what is his bigger plan? Because if he doesn't have a bigger plan to bring down Poseidon, then what's the point? Michael's lying too. Everybody's lying. The only person that seems to be telling the truth right now on the show is Teabag. And that just blows my mind because he was the ultimate, ultimate liar. Comment below. Are you fed up with the web of lies being weaved in Prison Break? What do you believe? Who's the real Poseidon now? Prison Break Season 5. Tune back in. More from Mandy and Dan. On Buzz Chop. Subscribe. Oh yeah, thank you.